What is minimalism? Having one pair of socks, having one per piece of cutlery. Nah, that's borderline ridiculous. See, minimalism isn't about any of those things, but it can help you accomplish them. If you want to own fewer things, minimalism can help you with that. If you don't want as many clothes, or you just don't want as many possessions in your house, minimalism lends a hand more than anything. But that's not the point of minimalism. I see it as a tool in the same way I see money as a tool. Now in this sense, it's a tool that creates freedom, freedom of fear, freedom of worry, freedom of depression, but most importantly, freedom from the consumer culture that surrounds us. Now people's arguments regarding minimalism are usually surrounding the restrictions that it comes with. And to that I agree, but no one's telling you to live uncomfortably. Some things do take getting used to, but the same way we went from Blackberries having physical keyboards to every phone just being touchscreen, you get used to it. And then you might find that you actually don't want to go back to the physical keyboard. And that's what happened to me. But if you're new to this, you're just finding out about this, find the sweet spot. Nobody wants to be inconvenienced. This isn't a, a who can be inconvenienced competition. You're supposed to still live and be happy. No one's gonna be happy with one fork. Now don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with owning loads of things. If that's your thing, that's your thing. But right now that doesn't fit my view. That doesn't fit the path I'm trying to pursue. See, the problem I have with what we care about today is that there's a lot of value placed into things. Like this is just a camera. This, this is a tool, this, this doesn't mean anything. But in some cases, we're placing it above the relationships that we should have and the relationships that we should treasure. It's put above passions and things we care about. And sometimes it's put above our health. It'd be great to have a car that looks like this now. And I could probably afford it, but for what? It's literally a status symbol. You only really drive this car if you're trying to impress everybody else on the road because there are far many other cars that can do the exact same thing, give you the exact same comfort and experience that costs way less. But I don't have that car. And I also don't have the stress of paying for it every month. I'd rather have this car that costs me three and a half grand and it gets me wherever I need to go. But the most important thing is what you get from minimalism. Now I found this quote and it really does summarize how I feel about minimalism and how I wish other people saw minimalism. I'm put on my glasses for this one. Minimalism is a tool to rid yourself of life's excess in favor for focusing on what's important. So you can find happiness, fulfillment, and freedom. That's what I want. If you want the watch, if you want the house, if you want the car, if you want whatever it is that you want, then get it because you deserve it, because you've obviously worked for it. And there's some itches that just need to be scratched. All minimalism does is help you be deliberate, be thoughtful of what it is you're buying and what it is you're doing. And sometimes it's just a thing with age. You might find that a lot, if not most of the purchases you made didn't really add value to your life. And all they did was subtract money from your bank account. Guys, if you're new around here, you enjoyed that video, please subscribe. On the screen, there should be a couple videos. Watch them.